I just want to know who. I want to know who did it. The unsolved murder of Richard Gill has left his brother and mother with so many questions. From what I talked about with the detective, they, they pretty much, you know, they know. They, they have some leads. Gill's mother says the last time she saw her son was Thursday night around 10.30. His brother says he left with a friend. He called one of his buddies and said, come and get me. And that was it. The next day, police told the family 43-year-old Richard Gill was dead inside a burning car in the back of Forest Creek Apartments in southwest Columbus. He just was at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong person. Police identified the other person in the burning car as 44-year-old Jose Alaves, the man Johnny says came to get his brother. Johnny says while his brother had a criminal record, including an arrest for drug paraphernalia last year, he says he'd left that world behind. His brother says he was a painter, but just recently lost his job. His driving record's so bad that he, he didn't have a way of getting to work and he couldn't res, uh, rely on people to get him to work. Johnny says his brother never talked about having enemies or being afraid the night he left the house. He has a message for the people who took his brother's life. You know, judgment will get them. You know, everything happens for a reason. In West Columbus, Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Now, the Franklin County coroner says the two men died from blunt force trauma to the head.